But the successful application of arc welding depends on the use of proper welding methods. Here's what happens when improper welding methods have been used. Distortion has caused this job to warp out of shape. The same thing has occurred to this metal tray. The purpose of this film is to show how all distortion can be controlled and prevented. But first of all, we must understand what causes distortion. Let's start with this ordinary steel bar. If the bar is heated thoroughly and uniformly throughout its entire volume, considerable expansion in all directions will take place. Now, if the bar is allowed to cool evenly, without restraint of any kind, we know that it will contract to its original shape and size without distortion. However, if we place the two ends of the bar in a vise and then heat the bar uniformly, expansion in these directions will be prevented by the vise. And expansion can only occur in these other directions. As the bar cools, it contracts evenly in all directions. The result is a shorter bar with a greater thickness. Now let's go back to our original bar and see what happens when we heat only one side. Getting up close, we see that expansion in this case is localized and uneven. The surrounding cool metal acts similar to the vise and restrains expansion in these directions. But there is no resistance to expansion in this direction. It is obvious that this uneven expansion causes an unnatural displacement of metal. When this area starts to cool and contract, a small amount of that displacement becomes permanent. In other words, there was no control and the final result is distortion. Now several steel bars side by side is much the same as a steel plate showing that uncontrolled contraction always causes distortion. Let's see what actually happens when we make this butt weld. Now keep the picture of that steel bar in mind because the bar's behavior when heated is very similar to the weld bead will form to join these two plates. As the weld progresses, we can see that the molten weld metal begins to cool and contract immediately while at the same time, the heat of the arc itself is causing considerable expansion ahead of the contraction. Looking at the end view, we can see that the intense heat of this molten weld metal plus the heat of the arc itself is being transmitted to the surrounding areas. It is important to understand that while the weld metal is cooling and therefore contracting, the temperature of the surrounding plates is rising and therefore causing considerable uneven expansion. As these plates cool, they will also contract. When we allow expansion and contraction to occur without any control, the result is bound to be distortion caused by this tough-looking villain, Mr. Shrink himself. He thinks he's pretty powerful. But we can show that shrink is all brawn and no brain. Yeah.